it's going to be an exciting day. And it's all building up to Saturday. Saturday, of course, is when we play our first game against them naughty, nasty Nottingham Panthers. Or, as they say now, with their je ne sais quoi French accent, as the Panthers have turned French. Another reason to dislike them in my book. Bonjour, comment ça va? Je m'appelle Harry. Welcome back to EIHL Central Panthers. Reactions, whatever you want to call it. The Panthers got an actual win against the Sheffield Steelers. What more can you ask for? I mean, I know it's pre-season, but yeah. Didn't watch, well, didn't go to the game last night. Didn't watch the stream. I haven't even seen the highlights at this point. The only things I've seen are the fights that broke out at the end of the game, which was quite nice to see. Kind of like mixed emotions going into this one. Um, just because I was like, okay, we got beat 4-1 in Sheffield. But, you know, first game. But I'm like, well, that was Sheffield's first game as well. So that's not... a positive sign to lose 4-1 and tonight we actually play quite well we actually play quite well um definitely the smallest and quietest Sheffield crowd I've ever heard at Nottingham in my 14 years of watching the Panthers definitely um I don't know probably right it's a preseason game let's not delve too much into that but the Panthers actually play quite well Shock horror, there's players on this team that I actually like and I actually kind of want to talk about. Mike Robinson actually had quite a good game. Mike Robinson is the backup, of course, to Rock Stojanovic, who I think is going to be one of the best goalies in the league, given what I heard last night. I mean, I've heard that last night he made some outstanding saves and just look at the guy's resume, you know. He is going to be that guy that you can rely on when you're in tough situations. He can bail you out of defensive mistakes. Um, speaking of defensive mistakes, <laughs> Josh Tetlow is back in the black and gold. And to be fair, it wasn't his best game. I don't think this weekend has been his best at all. I think Tets, obviously, he's had his year away in Finland. And, you know, he's, he's, he's not... He, it doesn't look like he's changed loads. I mean, it will have definitely given him experience, but... You know, I think it's very much the same Tetlow that we had before before um, he left for Finland. Um, big bit of chat on the defence. Um, standouts, probably Bjorkung, if that's how you say his name. Victor Bjorkung, he was probably the best defenceman we had tonight. I think I, re I really like his style of play. He's got, defense, he's got great defensive aspects, but he'll jump up into the rush and get a few shots on net. I really like his play. I like Carl Neal as well. Neal looks like he's got a bit of snarl about him as well. And, oh my God, we need that. But he also looks like he has that offensive presence. Like he's good, He could be a power play quarterback. McGurty, I didn't really see much of, so I can't really comment. Caruso was there. I mean, how are you going to sign back the worst import defenseman from last year's defensive core? Sure, let's sign him back. You know, maybe he'll do better this season. Let's let, let's find out. Jake Ryzek, I think another player that I didn't really get to see much of tonight, like McGurty. Um, Ryzek looks good on paper, so let's see if he can translate that into what we can actually see. Uh, forwards, I'm not going to list off every forward. I can't think of them off the top of my head. Uh, Standouts probably, Nieminen, oh my god, that kid has speed, that kid has got some speed, he's got some hands, there was this bit where he proper deeped out two Steelers players at once, yeah, he's going to be really good, AJ, Adam Johnson, I think, bit of a slow, bit of a slow burner today, I thought he did show flashes of why he played in the NHL, I mean, you have to be kind of a good player to play in the NHL, so, AJ, you know, he's, he's he's definitely one to watch for us this year. Tyler Welsh has great speed. Could work a bit on the hands, but I mean, the speed is there, definitely. Didrik Henbrand, a player that I repeatedly said this offseason. I know I haven't done any previews and stuff. That video is on the way. Um, but one of the things I'm saying is like, Henbrand, why have you signed a guy with such 
an uneventful resume and he's just come out of college hockey and he wasn't even that good in college hockey when you look at his stats. This kid has speed. This kid has grit. This kid goes to the corners. We love to see it. I mean, I don't know how that's going to translate onto the score sheet, but, you know, time will tell, I guess. Matthew LeMay, I love his hands. I knew LeMay was going to be a good player coming into this and LeMay, yeah, really showed some flashes of brilliance there. I think they're your standouts probably from tonight. Um, unless I'm missing someone crucial off. Brilliant to see Ollie back in the black and gold. Oh my god. We've missed him. We've missed him. That speed, that tenacity. You know, we've missed him. And it's 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 great to have him back. Seriously, it's brilliant to have him back. Anyone else? Uh Kels played great as always. Kels, he's just a workhorse. I mean, loved, would have loved to see him get 20 points maybe this year. The crowd was actually really loud for a preseason game. What the hell? I think Ken did a very good job of uh, getting everyone into it. That new intro. Oh, my God. That new intro is amazing. It's incredible. That new intro actually put hairs on my arms. And this is coming from a guy who publicly slandered the team for half a season last year. So, um, and the goal horn. They changed it. Yeah! Okay. So I've, I said that, I've said privately that the Panthers should change Seven Nation Army. They should, they should swap Seven Nation Army out of the goal horn. Keep Chelsea Dagger, but swap Seven Nation Army. They changed the actual horn. It sounds like a ship coming into the harbour. Like, I, I, I don't know whether I like it or not. I don't know. I feel like I feel like I could like it, but I feel like I might dislike it at the same time. Like if I like it, then it's going to be so much better than the old one. But if I don't like it, then it'll drag it down a bit. But sounds it's the it's very similar to the gold horn that the Anaheim Ducks use. <laughs> And in the first period, the two goals we scored, the lights went crazy in the building. I was like, this is going to be... A, it was like watching... You know when a British team plays in the CHL and goes to, like, Europe to play the game and they score a goal and it turns into a bloody disco on the ice? That was what it was like. About, I was literally looking around. I was like, what is going on? But, yeah, that's about it. But also, um, not an announcement as such, but I know... A lot of people like these videos, but that's why I've got to deliver some news. Um, I have got a new job, and it's in the Isle of Wight. It's a performing job, so it's something that I'm wanting to go into as a career, but that obviously means that I won't be able to catch as many Panthers games this year, so I won't be able to regularly upload these kind of videos. And I know people love these videos, and that's why I hate that you know, I'm so excited to start the job, but I hate that I won't be able to do these as much because I, I, I love doing these, genuinely. I love looking back on them as well and seeing when I just lose my mind over this team that is so not worth it. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to try and see as many games as possible. The closest arenas to me, I think the closest is Guildford, then it's Cardiff, then it's Coventry, then it's Nottingham. So it's easier for me to go to Coventry, Cardiff or Guildford to watch the Panthers play when they go down. So you might get some away game away game videos. That'd be quite nice. That'd be that'd be a nice switch up. But yeah, trust me, whenever if I ever get the chance to see a Panthers game, 100 percent there's gonna be a reaction video coming. I promise you that. It's just a shame that they won't be as regular. And I do apologize, but I couldn't turn down this job opportunity, you know. I've I've got to go for it, you know. It's it's a performing job, it's a singing job, it's what it's what I want to do. And sorry, <clears throat> it's what I want to do. Sorry, voice crack there. Um, but yeah, that's it. And sorry to end on that note, but what a game, actually, preseason. But what a game, you know. I'm I, I I'm feeling more confident than I did after looking at the team on paper. I feel like this year, more than last year, all the players have been carefully selected and put to fit this system that Paraday is trying to put forward. Like, we have our speedy forwards. We have our speedy forwards with great hands. You've got Nieminen, Wah, Welsh, 
LeMay, um, who else is it? Michaud, Michaud played well, actually. Weston Michaud played well. He is one to watch, actually. How did I forget about him? Stevie, love of my life, Stevie Anderson. He is amazing. Yeah, never going to complain when he's on the ice. He does a bit of everything. But yeah, so the defense, but they're all, they, apart from Caruso and Tetlo, they're all like really mobile, like two way guys that can provide offense and defense at the same time. Tetlo and Caruso may be the little Achilles heel of the season, maybe. I know they're not on a line together, but those two combined, unless Caruso can find the game that he should have played last year, and then the goaltending this year actually looks really good. Watch that statement, age like milk. So, but yeah, that's it. Preseason, Panthers get a win. I mean, we only got one win against the Steelers last year across the whole season. So we're going to take this and run with it. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Hockey's back. And I'm really sorry that these videos aren't going to be as frequent, but you're still going to get compilation videos, you know. Just there's still going to be videos. This I'm going to try and do plays of the week. I'm trying not to fall out of sync. Uh, compilations, plays of the week, you know, like little season, mid-season like videos, silly little videos. But actual game reactions like this, I will try and do just as much as possible, just when I can catch a game. So thank you all so much for watching. Hockey's back. Be excited about that. Ice hockey is just around the corner. Um, thank you so much for watching and see ya. Seven o'clock face off here at the arena. Sheffield Steelers versus the French national team, <coughs> the Panthers. Uh, seven o'clock face off, and all tickets are ten pounds. I don't know what that is in euros. I know the French and the people in Nottingham probably use that as a currency now. Um, but we'll see you here. It's going to be a great start to the year, isn't it? You're excited, aren't you? I can tell. Identity and philosophy, passion, 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 and the culture. <laughs>